Okay, so welcome back everyone. Um, today I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to make a fission reactor, which is part of the IC. No, no, it's not. It's part of the Atomic Science mod, which is in the mod pack that Tommy and Isaac are playing, uh, and certain other guests. Well, okay, so uh, I've been looking at this on the wiki and kind of understand how to do it. It's all based on this fission reactor there. And I'm just going to quickly show you how to make them. I prefer to use reinforced glass, which is made with alloys, uh, mainly because it's reinforced as opposed to normal glass, but use whatever you want. You don't even have to use glass. It's just nice to see it. And it's better for demonstration. So make uh, a wall, which would be 5x5 five five with a 3x3 three three space in the middle. And you want to put your fission reactor down in the middle. <coughs> your thermometer on any side, doesn't matter its side. And your control rod on any side, it can be this side, that side, it really doesn't matter. And the, thom uh, the thermometer shows you what temperature it's at, so you can see it through there, or you can break that block out, it really doesn't matter. And the control rod will keep it at a constant, uh, I think it's 18,051-ish. It doesn't go down too much. Anyway, um, let me move on. Now you want, you want to, uh, what you want to do is just fill the whole thing up with water. Because uh, as this is powered, it is powered by uh, fizzle fuel rods, which are made with u uh, uranium. Um, as it is powered, it will boil the water around it. So just put that in now, and you'll see the temperature start starting to go up. Um, so as the water begins to boil, um, it will create steam, and then the steam will spin these generators or reactor turbines, which are made with bronze plates and motors. And what you want to do with this is right click with a wrench on the middle one, and it will turn it into a bigger, more efficient fan. And you can just simply run these down the sides like so and link it up to any power supply you want. I'm just using this one because it's got the most in it. And once it gets oh, what's happening here? Once it gets up to uh, speed, or speed temperature, it will start boiling a lot quicker, and they make a sufficient amount of energy. So once that's happened, we'll go and have a look over in this one, and as you can see, it's quite a lot of energy, nearly six hundred thousand. This is going at about right speed, oh well right temperature which is pretty good speed you can see the fan going inside there quite sure what's happening to the frames but whatever you look in here, it's nearly at 600,000 so they're pretty efficient uh, I'll show you what will happen if you forget, forget the control rod there because um, obviously it's nuclear so if it breaks breaks well Ooh. get one of these sirens just, just so you know uh, yeah the thermometers give off a oh, give off a redstone signal so if I were to put this here and plonk it down like that put the siren in front of it when it reaches what would it be 1,000 1960 the siren should go off and explode oh. okay sorry about that not quite sure what's happening but you know and again you get massive frame drops and I'm not quite sure why there you go siren's gone off just try to get rid of these frames but whatever so the siren's gone off it's nearly, it explodes at 2000 so there you go and what it does is just creates a radioactive mess and turns your reactor into a lump of obsidian radiates the area radiates the area ra yeah makes the area radioactive and not safe to go in oh and remember always wear your hazmat suits because uh, otherwise you'll be sentenced to death like this poor cow. 
just finish them off. Okay, so that is the fission reactor and what not to do. Control rods are really easy to make, literally just two pieces of iron and it's really worth them. And remember always have a hazmat suit on you, they're not too expensive, just leather armour and then some more on a control circuit, which is not too difficult to make either. And well, thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.